Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the unspoken rules that dominate a dysfunctional narcissistic family. In a narcissistic family dynamic, there are often unspoken rules of engagement that govern how family members interact with one another. These rules are typically established and reinforced by the narcissistic parent or parents, and are designed to maintain their control, power, and self-centeredness within the family system. While these rules may vary in different families, there are some common patterns that can be observed. Rule number one. The narcissist's needs come first. The primary rule in a narcissistic family is that the needs and desires of the narcissistic parent or parents take precedence over everyone else's. Family members are expected to prioritize the narcissist's well-being, happiness, and ego always, often at the expense of their own needs. Acceptance is granted when family members prioritize the narcissist's needs above their own. Rule number two, do not challenge the narcissist. Children are discouraged from expressing their own opinions or challenging the narcissistic parent. Any disagreement or criticism is seen as a threat to the narcissist's sense of superiority and control. Rule number three. Acceptance is conditional. In narcissistic families, acceptance is often conditional and contingent upon meeting the expectations and needs of the narcissistic parent. Unlike healthy families, where acceptance is typically unconditional and based on love, support, and understanding. Narcissistic families place specific demands on their members, making acceptance a transactional process. Rule number four. Secrecy and silence must prevail. Open discussions about the family problems or the narcissistic parent's behavior are discouraged or forbidden. Family members are expected to keep the family's dysfunction and the narcissist's actions a secret, often out of fear of reprisal, judgment, or social stigma. Rule number five, always enable and protect the narcissist. Family members are often complicit in enabling the narcissistic parent's behavior. They may defend or cover up the narcissist's actions, make excuses for his behavior or take on the role of protecting the narcissist from any criticism or accountability. Rule number six, expression of feelings should be suppressed. In narcissistic families, the expression of feelings is often suppressed for family members, while the narcissist retains the freedom to openly express their own emotions. Family members' feelings are frequently invalidated or dismissed by the narcissistic parent. Their emotions are trivialized, ignored, or even met with hostility. This consistent invalidation sends the message that their feelings are not important or worthy of acknowledgement, leading to the repression of their emotional experiences. Rule number seven. Vulnerability is dangerous. Narcissists often enforce the belief that vulnerability is dangerous within their interactions and relationships. They do so to maintain control, protect their self-image, and prevent others from seeing their own vulnerabilities. Narcissists are skilled at identifying and exploiting the vulnerabilities of others. They use personal information, insecurities, or emotional struggles of others to manipulate or gain power over them. Thus they refrain from exposing their vulnerabilities to others reinforcing the notion that it is dangerous to be open and authentic. When someone in a narcissist's orbit shows vulnerability, the narcissist responds with criticism, contempt, or punishment. Rule number eight. Sites must be taken. In a dysfunctional narcissistic family, the dynamics often push family members into taking sides as a means of survival and self-preservation. And if you are not on the dominant narcissist parent's side, then you are wrong. 
children frequently find themselves in situations where they are compelled to pick a side among their parents, siblings, or other family members. Making a choice comes with its own consequences, and not making a choice also has its consequences. As a result, children are left with the challenging task of selecting between two bad consequences. Children grow up learning that life is just a choice between bad consequences. Consequently, they may develop a belief that life is essentially a continuous series of decisions between negative consequences. Rule number nine. Love and respect is limited to the narcissist. In narcissistic families, there is typically a severe deficit of love and respect for the other family members. The narcissistic parent or parents typically monopolize and hoard these emotional resources, leaving little to no room for others to receive genuine love and respect. If anyone other than the narcissist is shown love and respect, then that person will be punished. The limited availability of love and respect in narcissistic families creates an emotionally deprived environment for the other family members. This deficit can have significant impacts on their self-esteem, emotional well-being, and relationships. Rule number 10. Rage of the narcissist is normalized. In narcissistic families, the rage of the narcissist is often normalized and accepted as a regular part of family dynamics. The normalization of the narcissist's rage contributes to a cycle of abuse within the family. The rage becomes a recurring pattern, and family members come to believe that it is an inevitable part of their lives. They may internalize a sense of helplessness and accept the rage as a normal aspect of their family dynamics. Rule number 11, fear must always be present and anxiety must guide everyone. Narcissists maintain an environment of fear and anxiety within the family to assert control and ensure compliance from other family members. Narcissists establish a culture of fear of the system which is paralyzing, and where the consequences of challenging or defying the system can be severe. They may employ various forms of punishment, manipulation, or retaliation to maintain control. Family members fear the repercussions of expressing their true thoughts, feelings, or needs, leading to a pervasive sense of anxiety and the belief that compliance is the only way to avoid negative consequences. Narcissists use threats and intimidation to maintain control and instill fear in family members. This can include verbal abuse, gestures, or even physical aggression. The fear of such confrontations can be paralyzing, limiting the freedom and autonomy of individuals within the family and perpetuating a climate of constant anxiety. Rule number 12, fostering of sibling rivalries and triangulation is the rule. Narcissistic families foster competition among siblings, pitting them against each other for the narcissistic parent's attention and favor. Sibling relationships in narcissistic families are marked by jealousy, manipulation, and a constant need to seek approval and validation from the narcissistic parent. Rule number 13. Always avoid and never resolve. In a narcissistic family, there is a pattern of avoiding and never resolving conflicts or issues that arise within the family dynamic. The problems are swept under the rug and never addressed. Rule number 14. Confidence in anyone other than the narcissist is met with punishment, shame, or is rejected because it is seen as threat to the narcissist. Narcissists have an intense need for validation, admiration, and control. When someone within the family displays confidence or achievements that challenge the narcissist's sense of superiority, it can be perceived as a threat. The narcissist may respond by belittling, minimizing, or devaluing the accomplishments of others to maintain their position of power and control. Rule number 15. 
Parental support is often unreliable and inconsistent. Narcissistic parents have an excessive preoccupation with themselves, their needs, and their desires. They prioritize their own interests above those of their children. As a result, they may be emotionally unavailable, dismissive of their children's needs, or unresponsive to their emotional struggles. This self-centeredness prevents them from providing consistent and dependable support. The children also cannot expect support from the non-narcissistic parent as well, because that parent is under the subjugation of the narcissist, whose needs have to be prioritized at all costs. Rule number 16. Family dynamics are centered around the narcissist's super-self or false self. The narcissist maintains a grandiose and inflated image of themselves, known as the super-self or false self. They project an idealized version of themselves to the outside world and within the family unit. This false self is the central focus and priority in the family's dynamics. Narcissistic families discourage individuality and differentiation from the super-self. Members of the family are expected to align with and reflect the desires, beliefs, and values of the narcissist. Differentiating oneself from the super-self is viewed as a threat to the narcissist's inflated self-image and control over the family. Rule number 17. Enmeshment is enforced in narcissistic families, where individual boundaries become blurred and personal autonomy is limited. Rule number 18. Triangle communication is present. Narcissistic families often involve triangle communication, where communication occurs indirectly through a third party. For example, rather than directly discussing a conflict or issue with the person involved, a family member may approach another family member to convey their message or request. This indirect communication strategy can create confusion, misinterpretation, and further manipulation within the family dynamic. Rule number 19. Always maintain a facade of perfection. In narcissistic families, the emphasis on appearances outweighs the value placed on substance or genuine connection. Presenting a favorable image to the outside world takes precedence over the authentic emotional well-being and relationships within the family. Narcissistic families often strive to present a picture-perfect image to the outside world. Any flaws, problems, or conflicts within the family are typically kept hidden and denied. Family members are expected to play their assigned roles and project an image of harmony, success, and happiness, even if it contradicts their true feelings. Rule number 20. Compliance and Loyalty. Narcissistic families demand unwavering loyalty and compliance from their members. Family members are expected to unquestioningly support the narcissist's decisions, opinions, or actions, even if they are harmful or morally questionable. Dissent or criticism is often met with anger, guilt-tripping, or manipulation. Acceptance is granted when family members demonstrate unwavering loyalty and compliance. Rule number 21, denial of abuse is a common characteristic within narcissistic families, where the reality of the abuse, whether physical, emotional, or sexual, within the family is either minimized, ignored, or completely invalidated. Rule number 22. No safety and security. In a narcissistic family, feeling safe is often a significant challenge for the family members. The narcissist's moods, attitudes, and behaviors can shift abruptly, leaving family members feeling on edge and unable to anticipate or navigate the ever-changing family environment. This lack of stability undermines the sense of safety and security. Rule number 23. Comparison and Favoritism 
Narcissistic families frequently engage in comparing family members to each other, fostering competition and jealousy. The narcissistic parent may favor one child over the others, bestowing acceptance and affection on the favored child while withholding it from others. Acceptance is granted to those who receive the narcissist's favoritism, while others may feel rejected or inadequate. Rule number 24, emotional manipulation and gaslighting is present. Narcissistic families frequently employ emotional manipulation tactics to maintain control. Gaslighting, in particular, is a common technique where family members are made to doubt their perceptions, memories, and sanity. The narcissistic parent may twist the reality, invalidate emotions, or rewrite history to serve their narrative. Rule number 25. The scapegoat is the target of the narcissistic parent's criticism, blame, and often unjust punishment. In a narcissistic family, the scapegoat is a family member who is unfairly assigned blame and made responsible for anything that goes wrong within the family. By directing blame towards the scapegoat, the narcissistic parent deflects attention away from their own problematic behavior or dysfunctional family dynamics. They create a narrative where the scapegoat is portrayed as the cause of all problems, diverting focus from their own shortcomings and actions. Other family members internalize the narrative that the scapegoat is responsible for all problems, reinforcing the toxic patterns and preventing critical examination of the narcissistic parent's behavior. Rule number 26. Control is exerted. The narcissistic parent exerts control over every aspect of their children's lives, from their appearance to their hobbies and interests. Rule number 27, criticism is constant. Children in dysfunctional narcissistic families may experience constant criticism, which can lead to low self-esteem and self-doubt. Rule number 28, children are seen as extensions of the parent. Children are not seen as individuals with their own needs and desires, but rather as extensions of the narcissistic parent. Rule number 29. Responsibility is placed on the child. The narcissistic parent may place undue responsibility on their children, expecting them to fulfill adult responsibilities or take care of their needs. These unspoken roles create a toxic environment within the family, where individual needs and healthy emotional development are neglected in favor of catering to the narcissist's ego. Breaking free from these patterns can be challenging, but understanding these dynamics is an important step toward healing and establishing healthier relationships. I trust that this video provided you with clear insight into the unhealthy and toxic dynamics and rules that dominate a dysfunctional narcissistic family. If you found this content helpful and informative, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Make sure to click on the bell icon so that you do not miss out on my next video in which I will be talking about the religious narcissist who uses religion to manipulate, dominate, and control people through fear, and how they systematically take the life out of your faith and replace themselves in the center. I express my gratitude to everyone for tuning in and watching. Let us help spread the awareness and lead healthier and fulfilling lives.